Hello, dear grade 8 students! It's me again, Mr. Alexis R. Osorio. At ngayong araw na ito, ang ating pag-uusapan ay Multiplication and Division of Rational Algebraic Expressions. Unahin natin ang Multiplication of Rational Algebraic Expressions. If A, B, C, and D represent polynomials where B is not equal to 0 and D is not equal to 0, then A over B times C over D is equal to AC over B. Let us start by multiplying the following fractions. Example number 1. 2 over 3 times 1 over 5. Sa pagmumultiply ng dalawang fractions, we will just simply multiply numerator by numerator, denominator by denominator. So this will be 2 times 1, 2. 3 times 5, 15. So this is the final answer. So as simple as that, this is on how we can multiply fractions. Example number 2. 4 over 5 times 3 over 8. The same process. Multiply numerator by numerator, denominator by denominator. 4 times 3, that is 12. 5 times 8 is equal to 40. But 12 over 40 is not the final answer yet. Dahil pwede pa itong i-reduce sa lowest term. At ang lowest term nito ay 3 over 10. Kapag ka nasa lowest term na or nasa simplest form na, therefore, that is our final answer. Next. So this time, we are now going to multiply rational algebraic expressions. First, write each numerator and denominator in factored form. Two, divide out any numerator factor with any matching denominator factor. 3. Multiply numerator by numerator and denominator by denominator. 4. Simplify as needed. Okay, let us have example number 1 here. We have 2x squared over 4y cubed times y squared over x cubed. In our processes, the first one is we are going to uh, factor out the numerator and denominator. So let us factor 2x squared. So the factors of 2x squared are 2x and x. Next, 4y cubed. The factors of 4y cubed, we have 2 times 2 times y times y times y. Meron pa tayong ifa-factor. Yung sa pangalawang fraction. So, we have y squared. Ang factors ng y squared ay y times y. x cubed naman, sa denominator, we have x times x times x. Ngayon, na-factor na natin ang numerator at denominator. The second step is, we are going to cancel out or to divide out lahat ng common factors. So, tandaan natin, uh, we are going to cancel or divide out yung common factors like 2 and 2. Next, meron pa. X and X. Another X and X. Y and Y. Another Y and Y. So, hindi tayo pwede mag-cancel ng parehong nasa taas o kaya naman parehong nasa baba. Ang kailangan nating i-cancel dito or i-divide out isa sa numerator, isa sa denominator. Because if we divide two common factors, the answer is 1. So ngayon, na-cancel na natin or na-divide out na natin lahat ng factors. Ang titignan natin kung may natira sa numerator at denominator. So sa numerator, kung mapapansin natin walang natira, so automatically, that is 1. Sa denominator naman, merong tayong natira. Tatlo. We have 2, y, and x. So kapag kami natirang factors, even numerator or denominator, we are going to multiply them. So 2 times y times x, that is 2xy. 
So, yun ang ating magiging final answer. Yung mga remaining factor. Remaining factor sa numerator and denominator. We will just multiply them. So, this is now the final answer. 1 over 2xy. As simple as that. Okay, so just remember on how you are going to multiply rational algebraic expressions. Example number 2. 4y squared over 7 times 21 over xy. The same process. Step number 1 is factor the numerator, which is 4 y squared. So we have 2 times 2 times y times y. At sa denominator, 7. So ang factors niyan is 7 times 1 or simply 7. Second fraction naman tayo. Let us factor 21. The factors of 21, 7 times 3. At ang denominator natin na xy, ang factors niyan, x times y. After natin ma-factor ang numerator at denominator ng dalawang fractions, we can now divide out or cancel the common factors. Kung mapapansin natin, pwede tayo uh, mag-cancel dito. Y. And then, meron pa. Pwede pa natin i-cancel si 7. At wala na tayong iba pang nakikita na pwedeng i-cancel na common factor. So kung wala na, tignan na natin yung mga natira. The remaining factors will be multiplied to one another. So ang natira sa numerator, we have 2, 2, y, at 3. Imumultiply lang natin yan. 2 times 2 is 4, times 3, 12, at may isang y. So ang numerator ay 12y. At ang denominator naman, meron tayong natirang isang x. So that is over x. Therefore, this is now our final answer. Okay, so ito ay isa lang sa paraan kung paano tayo mag-multiply ng rational algebraic expressions. Pero meron pa palang ibang paraan. Ipakita ko lang yung isa pang paraan. Okay, the same given tayo. 4y squared over 7 times 21 over xy. Dito kasi, pwede na kagad nating uh, i-diretsyo. Pwede na kagad nating i-cancel out yung may parehong variable. Pero yung exponent magkaiba. Kung mapapansin natin, ang nasa taas ay y squared at ang nasa denominator is y. So, kung makakancel yan, may matitira sa taas na isang y. So, ang matitira na lang dyan is y. Meron pa tayong pwedeng i-cancel dito na common factor, which is 7 and 21. Kasi pareha silang divisible by 7. So, ang mangyayari niyan, yung 7 magiging 1. Kasi 7 divided by 7 is 1. 21 divided by 7, that is 3. So, ang natira na lang sa 21 ay 3. At ang natira na lang dito sa 7 ay 1. Kasi dinivide natin by their common factor. Ngayon, wala na tayong ibang pwedeng i- uh, i-divide dito na factors. So, meaning to say, we will multiply 4 times y times 3. That is, 4 times y times 3 is 12y. Sa denominator naman, we have 1 and x. So, 1 times x is x. Ayun. The same answer lang siya dun sa process natin kanina. So, any of the two processes can be uh, your strategy on how you get the product of rational algebraic expressions. Okay, next. This time, let us have example number 3. x squared minus 4 over y cube times 2y over 2x plus 4. Ang step 1 natin is factor the numerator and denominator. Let us factor the numerator first. x squared minus 4. Ang factoring technique na gagamitin natin dito is factoring the difference of two squares. Kasi ang x squared minus 4 ay uh, difference of two squares. x squared at 4 ay perfect square parehas. So ang magiging factors niyan, x plus 2 times the quantity x minus 2. Yung denominator naman ng first fraction, y cube. Ang factors ng y cube we have, y times y times y. Sunod na fraction is uh, 
2y over 2x plus 4. I-factor muna natin yung numerator, which is 2y. Ang factors ng 2y ay 2 times y. Denominator naman. Ang factors ng 2x plus 4, uh, ang factoring technique na gagamitin dito is factoring by finding the greatest common monomial factor. At ang greatest common monomial factor nito ay 2. So, ang magiging factors ay 2 times the quantity x plus 2 na factor na natin. So, ang gagawin naman natin ngayon, we are going to divide out or cancel the common factors. So, may nakikita tayo na magkaparehas na factor mula sa numerator and denominator. We are going to cancel them. Ang nakikita natin, we have x plus 2 and x plus 2. Meron pa, y and y. O, tignan pa natin, baka meron pa. So, wala na. Kung wala na, ililista lang natin. O kaya naman, kung medyo madami, we are going to multiply the answer or the factors. O, meron pa pala. Meron pang 2 at 2. So, sa numerator, ang natira lang is x minus 2. So, therefore, the numerator is x minus 2. O, pwede na ditong walang parenthesis. Sa denominator naman, ang natira ay dalawang y. So, y times y, that is y squared. So, therefore, this is our final answer. So, kapag katanda ang ating processes kung paano mag-multiply ng rational algebraic expressions, hindi tayo malilito. At makukuha natin ng mabilis ang sagot. Okay, so ngayon naman, let us try to divide rational algebraic expressions. So, ano ba yung pinagkaiba ng multiplication at division ng rational algebraic expressions? First, uh, ito ay to divide rational algebraic expressions. First, write an equivalent multiplication statement with the reciprocal of the divisor. Two, write each numerator and denominator in factored form. Three, divide out any numerator factor with any matching denominator factor. 4. Multiply numerator by numerator and denominator by denominator. And 5. Simplify as needed. Let us have example. Number 1. Let us say we have 3 over 5 divided by 2 over 7. Uh, sa first step natin, kailangan daw muna natin kunin ang reciprocal ng divisor. Ang divisor ay yung pangalawang fraction natin dito na 2 over 7. At ano nga ba yung reciprocal? So, pag sinabi natin reciprocal, uh, that will be in this pattern. If the fraction is A over B, the reciprocal of A over B is B over A. The numerator becomes the denominator and the denominator becomes the numerator. So, therefore, if that is 2 over 7, ang ating reciprocal nito ay 7 over 2. Kung baga parang yung nasa taas naging nasa baba. Yung nasa baba naging nasa taas. Numerator at denominator ay nagkapalit ng pwesto. At ang sabi doon, kapag ka nagkapalit ng pwesto, equivalent na siya as multiplication. It is the equivalent uh, sentence in multiplication of rational algebraic expressions. So kung multiplication na yan, same process, Numerator times numerator, denominator by denominator. 3 times 7 is 21. 5 times 2 is 10. Kung ang 21 over 10 ay pwede pang i-reduce sa lowest term, pwede pa natin itong i-reduce sa lowest term. Pero kung hindi na, that will serve as our final answer. So the final answer here is 21 over 10. Next, example number 2. 2x plus 6 over x squared minus 9 divided by 9y over 3x minus y. Parehas na proseso ang gagamitin natin. Una, kunin muna natin yung reciprocal ng pangalawang fraction which is the divisor. 9y over 3x minus 9. So, ang magiging reciprocal nito ay 3x minus 9 over 9y. Ang numerator ay naging denominator at ang denominator ay naging numerator. At ito ay magiging multiplication na. Okay, so nasa multiplication na tayo and then 
we are going to factor each numerator and denominator here. Let us start with 2x plus 6. Ang factors ng 2x plus 6 ay 2 times the quantity x plus 3. Ang factors ng x squared minus 9 ay x plus 3 times the quantity x minus 3. Pangalawang fraction, 3x minus 9. Ang factors ng 3x minus 9 ay 3 times the quantity x minus 3. Ang factors naman ng 9y ay 3 times 3 times y. Na-factor na natin lahat. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon is to divide out or cancel the common factors. So, meron tayong nakikitang common factors dito na pwede natin i-cancel, which is uh, x plus 3 at x plus 3 sa denominator. Meron pa. x minus 3 na nasa numerator at isang x minus 3 na nasa denominator. At meron pa. Yung 3 ay pwede rin natin i-cancel. So, kung ating susuriin, wala na tayong pwede pang i-cancel dahil wala ng common factor sa numerator at denominator. Kung wala na, tignan na natin yung mga natirang factor. Sa numerator, ang natira ay 2. So, ang numerator natin ay magiging 2 lang. Sa denominator naman, dalawa ang natira, which are 3 and y. So, 3 times y, 3y. So, kung wala nang ibang natira, ito lang. Therefore, the final answer is 2 over 3y. Okay, so this is the final answer. And don't forget to remember the processes or the steps on how we multiply and divide rational algebraic expressions. So, that's all for today. I hope that you learned something from this video. Uh, if you have a comment, a question, or something to say about the lesson, just comment down below and I'm going to answer it. Hanggang sa muli. Uh, thank you, grade 8 students. Goodbye!